गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट माइक्रोवेव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन स्लाइड वन हेयर वी आर स्टार्टिंग अवर न्यू प्ले लिस्ट ऑन माइक्रोवेव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ए सब्जेक्ट विच इज यूज इन माइक्रोवेव कम्युनिकेशन एंड इन रेडियो एंड स्पेस फिजिक्स इट इज ए कॉमन पेपर इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल यूनिवर्सिटीज इन द स्टेट ऑफ राजस्थान एज ए पेपर स्पेशल पेपर माइक्रोवेव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इन अदर इंडियन यूनिवर्सिटीज इट इज स्टडीड एज ए पार्ट ऑफ द रेडियो फिजिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक्स दैट आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट एंड ए लिटिल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द माइक्रोवेव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स now in this next slide we are going to cover the topics in this playlist which are about the microwave electronics applications of microwave electronics transmission line wave guides losses in wave guides microwave cavity generation of microwaves ferrite materials and their applications parametric amplifiers and varactor diode microwave solid state devices microwave and satellite communication and few other topics related to the microwaves now let us start with the introduction of microwaves now what are microwaves as the name microwave it means the wavelength of these waves is relatively small as compared to the radio waves because the radio waves because the microwaves are a part of the radio wave spectrum basically the microwaves are a part of electromagnetic spectrum of or radiation with the frequencies ranging between 1 gigahertz up to 300 gigahertz the common electromagnetic spectrum may be uh, divided into various categories we have divided these various frequencies of electromagnetic spectrum in this table starting from gamma rays x rays ultraviolet rays visible light infrared light microwaves and radio waves the frequency range and the wavelength range of these various categories of electromagnetic spectrum are shown in this table so we will focus on the microwaves so microwaves on one side they were uh, overlap with radio waves and with infrared light as all the electromagnetic waves can propagate with the speed of light in vacuum and in other medias their velocity 
is relatively small as compared with the velocity of light. So, the microwaves whose frequency range as already defined lies between 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz and their wavelength is between about 30 centimeter to 1 millimeter. Also, these are not very sharp or close lines, the frequency and wavelength may slightly uh, differ between radio waves and infrared light. Now, the entire microwave spectrum between 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz is very large spectrum. So, we may divide these spectrum frequencies between various bands. So, there are various methods, various criteria on which these bands may be divided. So, this is one of the basic uh, division of various microwave bands best, uh, suggested by Hallett and Packard. These bands, first band named as S band, its frequency is between 2.6 to 3.95 giga in gigahertz. In the next column of this table, the free space wavelength of these waves is given and in the next column, the waveguide dimensions corresponding to the dominant mode that is T10 mode for rectangular waveguide, the wider and the shorter dimensions which are named as here uh, A and B, the values are in inches given by 2.84 inch and 1.34 inch which is the shorter dimension and the cutoff frequency for dominant mode for the S band is 2.08 gigahertz. The cutoff wavelength for the TE10 dominant mode is 14.43 centimeter. The cutoff wavelength is defined as 2A that is twice into the wider dimension of the waveguide for the dominant mode. Similarly, the other microwave bands are named as C band, J band, X band, P band, K band and Q band. So, it is interesting that in all microwave bands the uh, frequencies are as different and the waveguide dimensions are also different. So, these various bands uh, according to their applications, they are being widely used in laboratories and the common source of generation of these microwaves is either cholesterol or magnetron. Now, we in the next slide, we will discuss about the applications of microwaves. Microwaves have very wide uh, range of applications. One of the application is in communication. In earlier communication, the radio waves are being used as the carrier frequency, but the radio wave frequencies are small. As the demand of various uh, television channels and uh, increasing trend of the mobile technology, the need of more and more channels and bands similarly for FM communication will be required. For each band, there is a 
uh, range of frequencies which is allotted by the government so more demand can be fulfilled by the using the applic applications of microwaves as a uh, carrier wave frequency because the entire radio wave spectrum is about to be 100th part of the microwave frequency range so microwave frequencies in communication are used for the satellite communication in mobile phones in telemetry communication link for uh, railways similarly the in defense microwaves are being used for the radar signals radar means radio detection and ranging so for radar signals high frequency microwave signals are being used and by using the doppler technique the uh, defense in defense in all areas we can use the microwave frequencies for controlling the radar signals in air traffic control also we can use the microwave frequencies microwave frequencies are also used in research so in the case of research there are several applications like by using the simple microwave benches we can study the crystal structure in remote sensing we can also use the microwaves by the remote sensing we can detect the depth of the glaciers and the width of the ice layers of ice and similarly the we can use the microwaves for uh, detecting and analyzing the nature of soil also there are also other applications besides the uses of microwaves there may be danger or disadvantages of using microwaves one of the disadvantages is in microwave ovens microwave ovens are widely used for cooking food in our kitchen so when we use the microwaves they can reduce the nutrition value of the food when we cook them and cooking food in an utensil or bowls which is not microwave ever may cause cancer and other diseases prolonged exposure of microwaves cause cataracts to eyes and even it may damage the retina of the eyes if a continuous exposure towards the microwaves by electromagnetic horns if is in prolonged use another disadvantage is the small doses of microwaves from increasing number of mobile towers and mobile phones used by individuals may affect the functioning of part of the brain and power of hearing of ears also uh, disadvantage or danger of microwaves 
is from microwave towers from which ionized microwave radiation may affect the biological molecules and may cause decrease in the activity of cells enzymes which results to prevent the functioning which may lead to genetic disorder and may become to cause diseases like cancer etc so this is the formal and introductory uh, lecture in next lectures we will discuss on specific topics starting from the transmission line so we will discuss various types of transmission lines what are transmission lines applications of transmission line and the voltage and current equations on a transmission line vswr that is voltage standing wave ratio and reflection coefficient on a transmission line open circuit short circuit and matched transmission lines and later we will discuss the wave guide in next sections because wave guide is also a type of transmission line so this will be the topics in our next lecture thank you